one of the most important things that we do whenever we realize that there's a hurricane here in Florida is we gotta get water. Another thing that we gotta do whenever like there's a hurricane is we gotta stock up on cash, you know? I try to get like a couple hundred dollars worth in like small, small uh, dollar bills. If you look, this weather strip is hard and it curves underneath here. It goes underneath here. So in case there's water or there's high floods or whatever, it keeps the water from coming in. It's a good deterrent. So like, if you look. Yeah, this love, this hate, lies and games. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how we use our 2024 Mazda CX-90 to get prepared for a hurricane. So those of you that have been following the channel for a while, you know that we live in Florida and yeah, it looks like we have like a pretty bad uh, category three to five hurricane coming through here. So, you know, I'm not gonna use like <laughs> to go get ready cause it's already, we're already getting outer bands and stuff. So I'm not going to use our 2024 Volkswagen Golf R, even though it does have all-wheel drive and it does have the ability to load up stuff and all of that. It's something that I would use in a pinch, you know, and I'm obviously not going to use our FL500 Chevy Type R. That's not something I'm going to use, you know, to go get stuff ready. But I'll show you something, right? So in our Mazda CX-90, I have some of the stuff that we use to get ready. So we have this here, which is used with uh, batteries. That's in case the power goes out, All right? We have this here where we can charge anything. So this I use, this is, is at a backup. So let's say the power's out and I need to get out of the garage. So I already have a backup battery in here. You can see it says backup battery. I don't know if you got, yeah, you guys can see that right there. So it, this does have a backup battery in it. But I can also use this uh, to open up and close the garage in case there's no power. And I can use that string too, but I like having the electrical options. So I have those there. These can also keep our phones going. Then we have these, these, and you see all this space here we're gonna use to get water and stuff like that. So those are things that we have that we use our CX-94. And another thing too, I actually had to go get some uh, some stronger clamps and stuff because like we have we have like cameras all around the house. We have like eight different cameras. So that's one thing during a hurricane, you want to make sure that all your cameras like this, you know, you want to make sure that they're secure and everything is good. You can see we have like a couple of rounds. So these are like our wireless cameras. We also have some wired ones, but we do that just to make sure that everything is safe and secure. Um, I had to also go get a plank for our fence. So got the plank already. These are things I wish I would have recorded, but I was just busy getting everything done. So we got the plank, replaced it. Everything is good. Um, and yeah, I'll take you guys along with, for the journey with me for the remainder of the things I got to do to get ready for this hurricane. So you'll see just how useful. And I'll go over some of the features and things of the CX-90 and why. It's just a good vehicle to have in an emergency type of situation. So as you see, we do have our Golf R. We do have our Type R. And in a pinch, if I absolutely needed to, I can use those cars. But because of the ground clearance and the space and the fact that I could throw my whole family in here, like that's why the preferred choice to get anything done in a hurricane is our 2024 Monster 690. But without further ado, but actually before, before I head out, I want to send a shout out to the whole MOC, send a shout out to Cutie Chaotic, Blueprint One Elite, 100 Grand Nate, and as well, want to send a shout out to Race Car 21. That's our guy. But yeah, man, let's, let's head out and I'll try to give you guys some other points why you should get a vehicle like this and why it's a great vehicle to have in case of a natural disaster like a hurricane or something like that but actually before we even head out so i'll show you something that i noticed with the 690 that a lot of other vehicles don't have so if you look this weather strip is hard and it curves underneath here it goes underneath here so in case there's water or there's high floods or whatever it keeps the water from coming in it's a good deterrent so like if you look 
bam, it seals up really nicely. Uh, none of our other vehicles have that, and I see a lot of vehicles don't, so I think they're more susceptible to water getting in. So I think that's a pretty cool thing that the CX-90 has. But yeah, without further ado, let's head out. All right, so one of the most important things that we do whenever we realize that there's a hurricane here in Florida is we gotta get water. So I went to a bunch of different spots already and none of them had water. Went to Home Depot, went to Publix, went to Target, went to Sam's Club, went to even like some gas stations. Gas stations be the cheat code if you really need to get it. Now I'm gonna try out Lowe's and see if we can fill up our CX-90 with water. But you know, it's cool like being in a CX-90, you just feel like confident that you know, regardless of whatever the, the weather is like, like you'll be able to get through it just fine. So something to be aware of, like, you know, you got you got that very good all wheel drive system in line six. So if you need to get out of way in a hurry, you can do it, you know? So that's that's something that makes this vehicle like a top choice for me. Like I could go in the Golf R or the Type R, the Type R would have more cargo space, but it's front wheel drive and it's really low. So like if there's, if it's raining or anything like that, then you're not gonna get the same confidence that you're gonna get out of the CX-90. Whereas with the CX-90, you just know it can deal with whatever, you know, the, the weather's gonna throw at it. So I'm here at one last place. We're gonna check out Lowe's and see if Lowe's has water. If not, then I'll try later on at night and see if we can get water that way. But let's head out, let's see how this goes. All right, so, so far, we weren't able to get any water, but man, it's crazy. Look at people, a lot of people look like they're evacuating Florida right now. So, it's, it's crazy to see it. But like I said, I feel like we're in the right vehicle to, you know, if we needed to evacuate, we could take all of our kids, you know, get them in here comfortably and go wherever we need to go because this thing runs on 87 pump gas, so. It's not like we're in an EV or something where we'd have to worry about electricity if the grid goes down. We just get 87 pump gas anywhere and we're good to go. So that's the, and this is a mild hybrid. So even if we're all the way down low on fuel, it'll probably take us, because I've had it where we've been on zero fuel and it took us like an extra 20 miles to get wherever we needed to go. So that actually works out. So that that's another plus of having a, a Mazda CX-90. That mild hybrid actually does help out. People aren't playing, look at that. They're towing their, their toys to go wherever they're going. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you, like our range is 340 now, but we've been driving for a while. It, I think when we started out, it was 380 miles of range. So that's another thing. So if you need if you need a bug out vehicle, the CX-90 is pretty good. Like has good miles of range. It's quick if you need to step on it like this. You know, it, it's it's awesome, man. It'll get the job done and it will tow. It's a good vehicle for towing as well. So that's something to be aware of. It's pretty good for towing. It, I don't know, man. It checks all the boxes in my opinion, but I don't know. You guys comment below and let me know what you think is a better uh, all around vehicle to have for your family, especially if like, let's say there's like a huge thunderstorm or hurricane or something and you just need something to get your family where you need to go safely. Let me know what vehicle you think fits better for you. This is another thing that we gotta do whenever like there's a hurricane, is we gotta stock up on cash, you know? I try to get like a couple hundred dollars worth in like small small uh, dollar bills, just in case you gotta pay somebody to do some yard work or you need to pay to get water or something like that. It's good to have actual cash on hand in times of emergencies. So that's another thing we do to get ready for hurricanes over here normal for florida living another cool thing you got the push start nice nice display oh got to look we could lower the music right there i could change the tunes on here if i want to check the maintenance on the vehicle i can hit there go up into information go into vehicle status monitor and i'm doing all of this i'm like right here and then i can check out uh that's how much miles i got left to get its oil change can go check out the oil change level all right and we're gonna go back and i can go into maintenance details shows you the tire pressure I got 32s in the front 30 in the in the rear like 
it's it, i'm telling you man this is an amazing amazing vehicle but <laughs> I, and, and I'm, i keep saying this like for the money there's very few vehicles that could even compete and you get the nice leather seats i mean nice like leather armrests like great sound system and this is not even like the top trim level this is not the bow sound system but it is awesome it is really really amazing you know got the built-in navigation i i love this thing man it, it is a perfect family vehicle perfect we got the one touch and the trunk opens and we had all of this filled up with water. When I get back home, I'll show you guys um, where, you know, all the water that we got and stuff. So we're, we were able to fill up with water and supplies, everything back here. And still, we were still able to have room. Uh, let me open this up here. Let's do that. So, we're still able to fit all of our kids back here baby in the two car seats there we had some of our stuff down here we had uh, extra diapers clothes water shoes like all that type of stuff there and then obviously like my wife would sit up here and with me driving so we were literally able if we wanted to go somewhere we can pretty much like pack up a whole bunch of goods have all the kids my wife and go wherever we needed to go pretty much anywhere in the united states because like i said this thing runs on 87 so we were able to fill up with 87 pump gas uh we have nice size wheels and tires we have good ground clearance and this is all wheel drive so and with uh so it says 280 something horsepower it feels more like 380 horsepower because this thing is quick like it is it is properly quick like i think on a dig from like zero to like 30 it's probably going to beat both my cars from zero to 30. i think our cars start pulling after we get into second gear but in first gear to second i think the the cx90 is quicker so it's quick it's fast it can fit in any type of scenario if we had to go to something nice go to like a a movie or you know some type of event we can go take the whole family and it blends in perfectly it fits perfectly in the case of like right now we're preparing for a hurricane i was able to go run all the chores get water get supplies if i wanted to fit a generator in the back there i could fit a generator back in there if we needed to bug out and go to a different state we can take the whole family and basically go to whatever state we need to like i said it's pretty much really good gas mileage runs on 87 you know normally i got about 380 miles of range i could push it to four something if i drive really slow uh, but if we do if we do need to go pretty fast this turbo inline six is pretty quick so and it's comfortable it's great on a long journey and to get all of this man to get all of this for like forty five thousand with mazda reliability and mazda service and we get free maintenance most of the american companies don't give you that like we get free oil changes and tire rotations for like two years it's, it's pretty awesome man it is pretty awesome but i want you guys to comment below let me know is this cx90 on your shopping list when do you think about all the natural disasters and stuff that we're facing and all the uncertainty in the world you know people are talking about world war three and stuff like that like hopefully none of that stuff happens but if it does what type of vehicle do you want to be in what type of vehicle do you want to have access to you know for forty-five thousand, i don't think you can go wrong with the mazda cx90 but I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. And that's it for this one, man. Race car friends out. All right, like I was saying, we're finally able to get some water. So there you go. The CX-90 did it pretty easily.